What's up, Miniatures Paintbrush Legion, and welcome to Hobby Tips. Welcome back, TMP fans. You have a sparkle in your eye and a spring in your step, and you are pretty awesome. I am Rob, your host, and today we are going to talk about an amazing discovery, something I wish I would have known earlier because I had a lot of frustration with my airbrush. Well, it kept on getting clogged and I kind of figured what's going on here, right? So one little thing that I noticed after doing various research is that you can actually strain your paint. See, what happens is if you won't paint for a while, it starts to dry or some of the dry bits actually falls back into the paint. You don't really see it and notice it and they're very, very small. But you know what else is very, very small? Your airbrush. So what you have here is these little particulates that go into your small hole for your airbrush and your air pressure is trying to push that larger particulate through the smaller hole. And you guessed it, you got to get a clog. And when you get a clog, it is not a fun day for someone who uses an airbrush. So let me tell you, that means you have to disassemble everything, scrub everything down, make sure there's absolutely no paint within everything, even getting to the smallest crooks and crevices. And some airbrushes, they have really, really small crooks and crevices that you're going to have to get into. It's just not a fun day. So let's go down to Tabletown and show you what I'm talking about. All right, welcome back to MP fans. Here's an Iowata sprayer um, where you're supposed to spray all the uh, contaminants in there. But I have a different receptacle for that. But it does make a good stand to, for this purpose to hold it nice and still. This is a TCP Global 100 micron strainer uh, that I was going to use for my uh, 3D printer. Uh, for the resin, but my 3D printer kind of like broke before I even got to use it. <laughs> this is Stino Res Primer. This primer in specifically has been giving me problems going through a um, airbrush wreath recently. You're going to notice I'm putting some water in there with a dropper, just try to, you know, loosen up that thick paint. Um, and it's thick because it's starting to dry. And you know, when paints get a little older, they start to dry, they start to uh, get little, you know, bits in there. It, it just clogs everything up, as I said before. So here I am squeezing out uh, the remaining particulates and there I have something ready to spray. And you're gonna see, cause I'm gonna show you here that, you know, the paint's drying and that could fall in the paint and just give you a bad day. All right, out to the outro. So there you have it. You have all those little particulates that usually go in there and clog your airbrush, getting strained away so you can have an awesome, clean painting experience. And I hope this advice kind of helps you out in your painting journey. Well, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all the things. And remember to always paint a miniature to improve at least one skill and may your backlog get ever smaller. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.